Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. Got an exciting show planned for today. Uh, I'm going to do my best to get it all, everything on the agenda to get everything in uh, on the show today. Exciting, 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 exciting show today. Okay, number one on the list. A YouTube friend, YouTube fan, sent me a dozen Kaiser Rolls from a New Jersey bakery. And here's the, what is it called? It's called the Aver, Aversa's Italian Bakery. And you go aversabakery.com. Aversabakery.com. And I got 12, and I ate six of them, or between my sister and I, we ate six of them. Excellent Kaiser Rolls, outstanding. It's it's a, a bakery, I guess you can order and have them shipped. Um, I think it was one of the pizza reviews or the eggplant parm review that uh, one of them I had mentioned that the rolls weren't crispy. And my sister said something like, well, you're not in Jersey. And I said, you know, the, the greatest rolls are Jersey Kaiser rolls and ta-da! <laughs> so thank you to my YouTube friend who sent me the dozen rolls. I appreciate it immensely. Now, I've got to get my desk organized for today and I shall be right back. And there's Opie on the roof of the car. He is like the Lion King there. Great watch cat. He just loves looking outside and watching the, watching the golf carts go by, watch the people walk by. He's getting used to the golf carts anymore, which is good. <laughs> he, is, he is one good cat, I'll tell you. Very, very loyal, dedicated cat. Great, great watch cat. Great watch cat. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera over here. Hold on, please. Okay, I'm back. Life in the fast lane. Dun, da, da, dun. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I, our Kmart down here was going out of business about two years ago, and I got the bargain of the year. Da, 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 da. $7. Seven dollars, Batman and Superman. I'll take it out of the box for a second here. Great, great figurines. Batman, dun da da, the cape, the old Batman with without the yellow uh, circle, oval circle around the bat symbol on his chest. That's the 1950s uh, golden age. Batman, the Silver Age, it was in the 60s when they put the yellow circle, yellow oval circle around uh, for the background for the bat symbol on his chest. Batman, dun 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 Look, in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's Superman. Great, great, these things are so flexible, you know. They didn't, they didn't cheat on the, you know, they didn't take uh, cut corners on the capes. Good full-size capes. Great, great figurines. Seven dollars, three fifty each. Bargain of the year. Nice box. I keep them in the box. Nice deal. Good deal. Seven bucks. Couldn't go wrong. Okay. Um, a lot of you had, in my early days, <laughs> in my early days, uh, and I was trimming the branches on Foxy's tree and I was high atop uh, Foxy's tree on the ladder and my little, no, wait a second here. Yeah, patrol driver. Um, lost my train of thought. It's, t it's, it's tough getting old, I'm not kidding you. Okay. Um, and this, and, and it said, you know, I flick, flipped it over on the top ring of the ladder and it broke. It had bothered me a lot. So 
I went to McDonald's the other day, bought a cup of tea, and dun da da da, bum 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 bum. There it is, intact, flips over, dun da da da. There, I'll take it off the. And, oh, wait a second. Oh, you gotta be, look at this. Oh, I am so bummed out. Can you see it? I don't want to. I don't want to do it too. Much. It's ready to break. Oh, I'm so bummed out. I. I mean, how can I do? It? It's hard to. You can't see it too well from there. Here you see it better. It's just hanging on by a thread there. You gotta do it like that. Yeah, like that. Oh man, I am so bummed out. The only reason I bought, oh, my whole day is ruined. The, the only reason I bought this is like three quarters of it is separated from the, oh, I am so bummed out. I, I went to the drive-in, waited three or four cars for one purpose, and I got a cup of tea, but just to get a new lid so it wasn't broken off and now it's it's this one's hanging in by a thread i'm oh my whole day is ruined oh well i'll rise above it i can't i can't i can't a lot of uh one youtube friend um wrote into me and said you know i can't let the little things bother me so out of my mind bing bong boom out of my mind okay Hot news, uh, comic book connection, Joe Peace is going to have another big comic book show, rumor has it, and uh, <laughs> I'm on the inside, folks, uh, possibly the middle of November, I'll not get, you know, sometime in November, and I'll get you, as soon as I find out, you will be the first to know. Now, when you buy comic books in Joe's uh, comic book shows, you just don't buy the comic books and, you know, okay, bye. Gives you a nice bag. Look at the size of that bag. And what I like about it, it's got all the information. It's got the website on it. Thecomicbookconnection.com. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Oh. Hey, how, say hello to the people. Here, turn around. Here. You always are so camera shy. Now, say hello to the people. Say Hi fans, hi fans, this is Opie, hi fans. You know, you get more, you get more email fans, you get more fan, he's a bunch of you get, okay. oh, he's so cute, he, he's, he, he, he's in my arms, he's like, he's like butter, he's just like, I got him so well trained. Now, um, well, here, say hello to the fans, say, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a character. Say, say hello to the fans. He's a little camera shot here. He's strong, I'll tell you. He's he, uh, here. That's a way, champ. There you go, buddy. Now say hello to the fans. That's a way, huh? Say hello to the fans, huh? Yeah, wave. Hi, I'm Op Hi, I'm Opie. Yeah. Okay, good boy, good boy. <laughs> I'll tell you, I got him so disciplined. <laughs> You got, you got to discipline the cat, you know. You got, I, he's in my arms. Boom, boom. He's he knows who's boss. I was gonna do now. You come back. I lost my train of thought. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. Um, here he comes back. Hey, buddy. Pops is trying to do the show here. Uh, here, say hello to the people. Say hi. Everybody, yeah, I'm Opie. Yeah, where are you going? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stay here the whole time? Okay, he's gonna stay here. Okay, good boy. Okay, um, it's tough to get off. No, don't, don't, don't hit the camera, please. That's, that's a boy. Don't hit the camera. Okay, now I found this the other day. Okay, don't hit the camera. Don't hit the camera. Okay, this is uh, what I do with it now. Okay. Okay, I used to give uh, talks at various bookstores. This is at Barnes and Noble. 
This is the Barnes and Noble in um, Totoa. Writer's Workshop. Join Richard J. Maybe for a short lecture. Writing and for a short lecture on writing and a reading by his class. Wednesday, March 22nd at 8 o'clock p.m. We used to get quite a, quite a crowd. Um, it was a fun time and uh, kind of kind of was nostalgic finding this. Uh, they used to put this in the foyer of the bookstore when you walked in. It was kind of nice to have. I thought I'd share it with everybody. I must have done... Okay, Pops has got to sit here. Okay, <laughs> he's so cute. Okay, go get yourself a mouse or something. Yeah, he's a good boy. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I, I had done... I did dozens and dozens and dozens of those... Uh, let me move the camera up a little bit. Yeah, I had done a lot of those... Uh, writers workshops and uh, we sometimes we did them in the afternoon on Saturday afternoons at three o'clock in the afternoon go go um, you know maybe like we used to do like one to five kind of thing and it was fun okay now big big plans for today okay hold on to your seats fantastic four just gonna go through them as quick as I can uh, this is a Fantastic Four annual, 1990. 64 pages, $2. Got this in the 50 cent bin. 50 cent. Great cover. I'm just going to go through these fast. Uh, this is from, I actually bought this uh, at, at a comic book store in New Jersey. Uh, Newsstand price $1.99 May. I think it's like $19.99 or so. That's number five. And $19.98. This is number six. Bum, ba -da -da, bum, 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 bum. This is number seven. What they did is they stopped the old numbering system. I don't know what they're up to, like 600 or something. And then they started renumbering Fantastic Four. And uh, that's seven. And this is eight. And I got one on the back here. This is, uh, this is before they re began renumbering. In 1995, December of 1995, they were on number 407. Great comics. Great. I got this. In the 50 cent bin, got this in the 50 cent boxes, got this in the 50 cent boxes. This is number 13 of the new series. 50 cents, uh, $1.99 newsstand back in 98. And uh, this is the old system, number 366 in 1992. Newsstand price a dollar and a quarter. Got it in the 50 cent bin. Near mint condition. Bargains, bargains, bargains. Uh, another 50 cent bin. 19, October 1995. Newsstand price a dollar fifty. And uh, this is number 575. This is just 299. Newsstand price. This is just before. They changed over to the new, the you know, start over number one again. I like Fantastic Four. Just wanted to go over those covers. I'm not going to take them apart and everything like that, but just want to go over the covers. Something fun to do. Okay, now, um, where was I now? Okay, Scout Patches. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. And, uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people say they like the scout patches. A lot of people don't like the scout patches. I try to mix it up. Um, I'm not sure if I'd gone, if if I have this, if I've done this one, be gone over this one before or not. But it's it's just an absolute fit. I have to have a better system. You know what I what I showed, what I'm going to show, what I'm going to show. You know down the line or something. You know, but I get I'm getting there. You know I'm finding my my. I'm finding my pace, I'm finding my voice, 
I'm finding my uh, uh, meter, I'm finding my timing. This is all new to me, you know? Good. I haven't been doing, uh, well, you know, like, this is like television work, and I haven't been doing that this kind of thing in you know, maybe 15 years or so. Anyway, Boone District Pioneering Camporee doesn't tell if it's spring or fall, 1958. I, I just love this patch. I love the coloring. This is the Pioneering Merit Badge. And um, I really like this patch a lot. This is a nice patch, uh, Bicentennial. They made it for one year. Uh, the Bicentennial Trail of Freedom in Philadelphia. And after that, it was called the, uh, um, the Philadelphia Trail of Freedom. In 1977, they had to make a whole new patch and the whole bit. But for one, this is highly collectible. One year, one year, and you had to take, you had to take the hike, and at the end of the hike, they gave you a little test. It wasn't real hard, you know. The Liberty Bell has a crack in it, yes or no, true or false, boom, bing, bang, you know. I mean, not that simple, but I'm exaggerating, you know. Here's a favorite of mine. Klondike Derby, 1967, Booton District. Love this patch. Colorful patch. I love the yellow uh, background. This is when they made the, uh, the rectangular patches. And it was Jack Floyd that kind of pioneered the more square patch. Here, here I go, a Jack Floyd patch. Classic yellow background, red lettering, Jack Floyd style. Show and do for Camp Bree. This was big time. Uh, I think they had the local cable TV station come down and uh, they gave like a little five minute spot on the scouts doing different things, different skills, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, kind of a bland patch. I think I might have a double on this. I think I did this one. Pine tree, white background, totally a stock patch. Uh, this it does have the scout symbol and uh, the year 1978 fall camp rate. Oh, Reseca Falls. Reseca Falls was a great scout camp in near Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. And we took the scouts there for two years. I think it was 74 and 75. I know some of the scouts, the other scouts that went on summer camp at that time probably i think it was 74 75 i don't think it was i think it was 76 was back at camp alamucci they're a beautiful patch absolutely beautiful beautiful patch here we go uh Booten district 1975 fellowship campery and this incorporated a lot of scout skills and just from there is a signaling first aid fire building uh safety and i don't know what this uh I think this is just uh, the scout symbol here, the scout symbol here. But this is all different aspects of scouting in competition. We used to, 170 used to do pretty good. We used to end up uh, like in the top three. And, and, there, and, there, and in the heyday of the Booton District, there had to be over 40, 40 scout troops in the Booton District. And we always did well. This is uh, an old stock patch and uh hmm, I, I'll, I'll give it a b minus gray yellow lettering uh, a little native american boy uh, booten district gold rush yeah what are you gonna do 1982 here we go a, a jack floyd one of jack floyd's finest here Klondike Derby, 1985. This is when the year that they changed the Booton District to the Eastern District. They redid the whole district segmentation and breaking up the districts, and it was uh, eh, it was quite a thing. 1985, Boy Scouts of America was 75 years old. Classic, classic, classic Jack Floyd. Yellow background. Uh, the red, the red border. Beautiful, beautiful uh, scout emblem he did there. Um, I like the letter. He, he spent hours doing this. 
he, he, he would design a patch, boom, start all over again. Real perfectionist. This is my assistant scoutmaster patch. This is after I got training, you got the more glitzy, shining patch. After you went through the training, you had to go through like, a, like um, I think it was twice, you know, once a week for two months. For the and then you had to spend at the scout headquarters all day training, you know, classes. And then you had to go on a, a, a weekend from Friday night to Sunday afternoon. And at the end, they gave you a test. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't really difficult, but it wasn't really easy, you know. Uh, 1962, Boonton District Quonset Maneuver. Native American on the patch. And again, uh, very rarely do you see this, uh, this little hook for the button. And uh, the only thing is when you would button the patch on, um, say like within a month, maybe six weeks, it would start to curl. You know, so sometimes it's better to sew it on. What do I got here? Oh, wow. The old 170 bar. Kind of neat. And uh, when I first joined Scouts in 1964, they didn't have like a full-blown 170. You'd have to buy the one and the seven and the zero. So all the Scouts, all the kids, with their, the 170 would be all kind of crooked on the, you know, like it wouldn't be, you know, and then they, then they came up with this side. I'm back. I don't know what happened. Uh, you know, I'm still using my cell phone. I got a phone call and I... The camera went off. I don't fully understand it. At any rate, I'm going to close. I had a pretty good show today. Um, I'm going to close for now. Stay strong. Stay safe. Stay positive. Until my next video, this is Richard Maybe signing off.